Right, good morning. I said I'd do part two today and I'm going to. The first thing I'm going to do is expand this bit of pinpricking a little bit. It's not big enough and I want to work on that, so I'll get my wad in. Face down. I'm doing it blind really, but I know that if I keep going in this area, then I'm round, not really gonna not really gonna go wrong very much. So I'll literally just pinprick a little bit more. I haven't drawn a shape or anything on here because I want it to be quite organic. So I'll pinprick for a little while and then I'll uh, check from the front how it's looking. I can always come back and extend it some more as well, but I did want to work in it a little bit. Um, so let me sort of look. That's much better, much better. Um, maybe a little bit more down here. Now I think I said yesterday that you can put found objects on here, it doesn't have to be just paper and stuff, you can put what you want on it, it's yours, do what you like, um, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. So what I want to do, I want to try and pull in, let me see, uh, put some sequins in there along with some French knots. Now I've got, I think to be honest with you I've already decided what I'm going to do, which ones, what we want to do with them. But I haven't got many of these ones left that are in here. Ah, no, but... So I was thinking these. But I've just seen these. But then I haven't got many left of either of them. Um, but... I've got... They're quite nice as well. Subtle pinks, because that's what's in this imagery. And those ones. I might use a combination of those two. I don't have a lot of these left. Um, but I'll have to put these in in conjunction with more French knots. But the bonus about that is that you can use the same thread to attach these sequins and the French knots. So I'm just putting a knot in my thread. Um, and then I'll have to try and <coughs> get in a position where I'm quite... so you can see. I've got a habit of moving out of the line of the camera because I'm so focused on what I'm doing. So uh, these, I love these, but like I say, I don't have many of these left. That'll do for the purposes of today. Um, and that that'll be enough as well. I could put them to one side. I attached that other bit of paper, by the way, down there. Uh, so we'll just do a couple more French knots and then put a couple of sequins in here. You've got to be very, very careful when you're working on paper. Creases easily, and it's not like fabric, and you can just iron it out. You know what I mean? So just care, extra care. I'll do one more French knot, and then I'll put a couple of sequins in. Now somebody asked me what paper I'm using, this paper. It's a Dale Rowney acrylic system 3 acrylic paper and it's for painting on with, on with acrylic paints but it does have this lovely surface um, so I, I don't paint really so I don't paint on it. Um, and if you want more clarity on that, drop me an email and I can send you a link. Okay. Um, so we'll come up and we'll do a sequin. Just random, random placement. Um, do one of these ones. I got these in America. I need to... Uh, I guess I could email them, see if they've got any more. But the postage and things from America is ridiculous postage costs and then I have to pay 
we get anything from America after to pay import tax on it. Well, that's too close to that. I'm put one of the other ones on. Put one of these on now. No, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'll be using sequins in the paper pieces I've already started. Um, but it might just inform a little bit in some way. And anyway, at the end of the day, if it doesn't, I've just got a really nice design sheet when it's finished. It could take forever. It's a good job I'm not in a hurry. So that's that little area that I'm hoping to concentrate on and really embellish heavily with French knots and these sequins and like I say I may very well extend that pinprick area to give a little bit more texture. There's something else I want to do now today. So there, okay, so we fasten that off. And I'm going to have to put some more thread in my needle. Scissors. So what I want to add to this now, I'm going to pull out, I'm just going to remove these sequins because I don't intend to pull more than four, which has been known. thread for my needle. This is the thin cotton abroader. It's cotton abroader 25. Um, my normal go-to is to cotton abroader 16 but they sent me the wrong stuff but I kept it anyway because it is useful. Right, I'll put a knot in this. Now what I want to add to this now is a bit of lace because as you know from the previous video the paper pieces are very lace like so I want to put a bit of lace um, I'm using the term lace loosely because it's more of a trim but it does have a delicacy it's really lovely I'll show you now so this I want to add that okay and I want to put that maybe here and that doesn't mean that I can't come back later and put more paper on this absolutely doesn't mean that now I want that in a straight line so I've got my set square here so if I line it up with the top and I draw a straight line down there I can erase that later what I don't use and then this is going to be, I don't know whether to have it that way. I might have it that way and then I can flick it back to work on this area. Yeah, I'm going to have it that way and then when it's attached I can just flick it over to work on that area under there. So I need to know where the top and bottom is going to be so there to there and I'm going to make my holes before I stitch it on okay so equidistant hopefully
Right, so now I don't base this on or anything, obviously. So I'll go to the back and come up through the top hole, okay. And then I'm going to come up just below this thick area. There. Now I can't see the hole below, can I? So I'm going to have to fish a little bit. That's there. So that's the first stitch to hold it down. Okay. And then hold it, come up the next one. Now it's important, oh see I've lost it now, come up the next one. I never said it wouldn't be fiddling. It's important that you come through in the right place. So I'm just under that line, aren't I? So let's see. There. The more you do, the further on you get, the easier it gets because it stays in place easier. And I'm looking underneath for the next hole. So I need to stitch that all the way down and like I say the further along you get the easier it is. So then I'm going to have to do this, flip it over to finish this area but that's fine because hopefully this area underneath is going to be quite busy and crammed and it might allow that to lift up a little bit, who knows. Um, so that's that. And the other thing I wanted to say, I was looking around for lots of trims that might come in useful. So don't discard anything. I've got this, it's a run of stuff at Puffs that I did a while ago for something else. They're on cloth. But the, the colours kind of match here as well. So they might come in useful. I would probably, mm. if I was going to use them, I'd probably cut them off this cloth and tie them on separately. Um, but you know just have a scout round what you've got in your boxes and your bags and things um, so that's it right I'm not going to be around for a bit now um, so yeah I can't do anything about it so you probably all disappear before I come back but never mind I'll try and win you back with more interesting stitchy things